What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Frankie Hardwork <clears throat> with another story. And, um, yeah, this Jay Z thing, man, everything is just coming out day by day by day by day, man. And I'm going to keep it 100. I'm a real dude. And uh, I'm calling the spade a spade. I'm not changing my opinion, but I, I can't lie, it's not looking good, man. But, um, Michael Brian Cox just came out pretty much, uh, Exposing Jay Z about the um, NFL deal. It was offered um, not too long ago to uh, Jermaine Dupri, and um, well, I'm gonna let you hear what he got to say. Um, and I'm gonna come back with my commentary, man. This is horrible, man. It's, 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 it's not looking good. The NFL. I, I was never gonna not boycott the NFL because I, I hearken to the fact that all that flack that JD got for the Super Bowl, but Jay Z does this, and now it's like. That that's that's my number one thing. Also, too, yeah. I mean, Jay Z went hard, yeah. he went hard against like like fuck the NFL. I don't need them. He went hard. You know, it, On the I'm saying, no, I mean, yeah. I'm talking about behind closed doors too. Like yeah. he wasn't, he wasn't like he made it clear that that was not what he was fucking. I mean, my my personal opinion is this: there's a lot of things that's going to be unearthed because of this. You know, yeah. like the fact that the, how the Barclays got into Brooklyn and what was promised. That just looks, and, that looks uh, that's, that, that's a that's a crazy look and get Dale and Jay Z. Yeah, um, but I, um, and then you know, and then, and then the fact that Colin Kaepernick is not involved with this social justice thing that he's doing, like that, for me, it would have yeah. been like, yo, I'm gonna go get Colin and Eric Reed be a part of this, and then we'll go like if it wasn't about money or capital being a capitalist, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's my thing. It's like, and also, Five Nation, that, 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 there's a bigger play here. Right. I, I think it's all over. I think it's ownership. No, but this is the bigger player, period. Mm-hmm. You know, Jay Z's on a contract with Live Nation, man. Mm-hmm. This is what's real. You know what I mean? He's a billionaire, but he's still on a contract. You know what I mean? Right. Live Nation handles all the, you know, all the fucking venue shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you can't tell me that somebody was like, yo, like, this is what we're doing. You know, we <laughs> like, this is what's happening. Right. You're going to make a lot of money, but this is what's happening. You're going to do it because, it, you know, we advanced you this amount of money. You owe us boom, boom, boom. You know right. what I mean? Like, we never know what the outside, what the underlying business. Now, here's it. It could be, it could, it, you know, I'm not saying that it can't turn into some good shit. You know what I mean? Right. But for me, I just feel like the kind of flack. We all talk, we also talking about a guy who, who single-handedly called, picked up the phone and called Jermaine to tell him not to do it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we're talking, we're talking about a man a year ago, not even a year ago, <laughs> up the phone. It's the same program. When we, when we all went to the fucking, um, we all had that meeting. Yeah. The, the NFL. NFL. Yeah. All that shit was a part of the same, it was the same shit. Social justice. Right. Like, it was the same exact shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? For me. I didn't know that. It was the same exact shit. So for me, I'm like, and I wanted to make sure it was clear before I ever spoke on it. You know what I mean? Right. I was like, is this the same shit? And I went down and I did my research and I, you know, and I, you know, and I, I called the person who invited me to the NFL thing last year, mm-hmm. and I was like, and it was like the same shit. I, I said, well, same information. It's, it's literally the same exact shit. The only difference is what Jay Z's doing is he's doing the actual Super Bowl halftime. Well, he's yeah, he's gonna help produce it's the a, Super Bowl show he's and do the other shit too. He's gonna counsel them yeah. in social justice yeah. in a campaign. It's yeah. called, uh, I think it's. Uh, I want to make sure it's called what they call it. Uh, um, Inspire change. What is it called? I think yeah. He's gonna consult, consult on entertainment, including the Super Bowl halftime show, and contribute to the league's activism campaign. Inspire change. Yeah. So here's the deal. Like I said, I mean, I'm. I have to see what how it you know how how it unravels. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna. I'm not going to condemn it or be like you know what I mean. Oh, that's just whack. I mean, I'm not gonna do that. You know, then people who are vocal about it are going crazy about it but for me i want to look at it intelligently and because i know a lot of what was happening before mm-hmm. and how 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 we were to it we were engaged last year as a as a community mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's like i you know if you knew that why would you pick up the phone and call you know what i'm saying you, you said about a year ago you think you knew no, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, I, 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 I don't even sound like I'm, def- I'm defending Jay, but I'm just saying, like, at the end of the day, I have an issue took, with none of that shit. He took a, a, a beating, a beating right. for the, doing the same shit. Right. He took a beating, and I guarantee you, they, not, they, they didn't pay him as much as they about to pay, dude. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you know I mean? So it's like, 
maybe maybe my my takeaway from this is maybe maybe the NFL and and this is what I I will say about um the cap and Eric Reed needs to be a part of the social injustice that's, program. That, that's, that's what I'm my, saying. To me, it's not genuine. And let's and let's talk to the people that who, started who started it. Right. That's my problem with yeah. it. Yeah. Now I'm pretty sure there had to be if there hasn't been a cap call. Go they, check, nigga. They, go, no, no. Go check that Know Your Rights Twitter. Go check Caps. Oh, Twitter. are they t- talking? They're like, really? Eric wow. Reed's talking. Eric Reed's like, yo, we we weren't we weren't we were never asked. Like, I'm not fucking with that. Like, you got that's that's the reason why I'm like, I looked at them like, oh, they should have been the ones that was the yeah. first people to go right, talk right, to. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Before anything, like, oh, NFL want to do this thing. Hey, Cap, Eric, we could do something. Let's make this shit happen. Yeah. That would have yeah. that would have had to be a condition, some sort of some sort of some some something to do with cap that we can get this thing back involved. Even, and I'll be exactly, I'll be a part of it, but cap it, gotta be in on. I mean, fuck cap getting the job. You know what I mean? It's not about the He's job. At this point, it. yeah, I'll do this, but I got to get Kaepernick and I got to get Eric Green. He has the power to do that. Right. He didn't do it. Mind you, they right. say Eric Green's been a. Uh, uh, <laughs> randomly drilled three times, five, five, five times. times. Yeah. So how you? I was gonna ask you because the season hasn't even started. I know how you feel Shut about it. Shut the fuck up. We're yeah. only two weeks in the preseason. Yeah, he said he said like three <laughs> random PDF yeah, performance enhancing drug tests or whatever PD tests already. Yeah. yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So um, yeah, you heard that, man. You heard that. And the crazy part, I didn't know that they was doing that to Eric Reed. I didn't know that that they was that actually um, they gave him five drug tests already. You know, because he was one of the people that was uh, nailing down uh, with that situation uh, with Kaepernick. He played for the Cleveland. Um, I mean, he played for the um, the Panthers, the Carolina Panthers. Now, but they drug that test them five times. Like that's crazy. That's crazy. But um. Like, I'm a realist. I'm a realist. And, you know, my couple of videos, you know, I always say, I said in these videos that it doesn't look good. This deal to me don't look good. It's, it's, especially when I seen him in the, um, that meeting and everybody was asking questions and putting pressure on him. He was cracking under pressure. Like, that was disappointing to see because, you know, Jay, Jay really, when he talk, and that's what I said in the last video, like, when he talk, like, when he, he's usually better than, when he speak, you know what I mean? And that video, he just looked like he was just, it just looked, it was a bad look. You know, I, I hate even seeing that video. But then you got Kaepernick lawyer coming out saying that, um, Jay-Z lied. You got Nessa coming out saying Jay-Z lied. I mean, you pretty much got everybody talking about him. I mean, Wale posted something, pretty much shot not Kaepernick. Um, and you know, Wale loved Jay-Z. He loved Jay-Z. He looked up to Jay-Z. Um, um, what's his name? Um, a couple of people. Rihanna also said called him a sellout. Pretty much, I don't know if she called him a sellout, but she liked uh, Sean King. Um, I ain't really feeling Sean King. I'm sorry. That's just me. I don't really feel him before the situation. I don't even know where he even came from, but that's just me. But Sean King made a whole, pretty much whole Instagram post talking about Jay Z and on, on his podcast or something like that. And Rihanna liked it. She she liked it. She liked the uh, the the, uh, the the IG put up. I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, and also J Cole. J Cole put up a shout out to Kaepernick. And also Nas said something slick. Nas, it was a Nas actual, but it was Mass Appeal, his record label. They pretty much said something about it. You know, they said um, integrity is everything, something like that. And they said at Nas, I'm gonna try to see if I can put it up there. But yeah, everybody not feeling it. But then this comes out with J. Pretty much made a phone call to Jermaine Dupri and basically told him not to do this deal. The same exact deal. They said it was a little bit different because Jay handled the social justice and stuff like that, but pretty much it was like the same exact deal the way they saying it. This is not looking good. Like I said, I'm a realist and and I definitely been, you know, I'm not going to say I've been taking up for Jay. I'm just one of these dudes. I, I always try to look for a different angle. But I call it spade a spade. And I'm not going to front, man. It's, this is not looking good, man. Every day is something new coming out. And Jay my guy. He my guy, but it's not looking good, man. Like, you literally running around calling everybody, telling them not to take the deal, telling them not to do this, telling them not to do that. 
you know, some things you go overlook, but then it's like, come on, Jay, like, down they saying that the same deal that was offered to Jermaine Dupree, you called him and told him not to take the deal. Come on, man, that doesn't look good. That's not a good look. Now it was looking like it's about the bag now. Now it was looking like it's about the bag. It, it really is. I'm not going to front, but I said that in one of my videos. You know, he definitely going to get money off this deal. I mean, but, you know, I try to give Jay the benefit of the doubt. I try to give people the benefit of the doubt, period. But, you know, I'm trying to get this man the benefit of the doubt, but it's not looking good. I'm going to be super duper honest. I'm a realist. It's not looking good. But I'm going to say this, though. You can, I'm not going to let Kaepernick go off the hook either, though. I'm, I'm sorry. I cannot let him off the hook. Because while he's sitting there in silence, he's not saying a word. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what you want to We don't know what, what what is supposed to happen now. And I'm going to speak on this real quick. But Kaepernick doesn't say anything. His girl say more than him. Sean King speaks for him. Everybody talks for him except him. Now, I made a video earlier or yesterday on how he pretty much talked about. Well, I made a video earlier still right now. But you probably ain't going to hear this tomorrow morning. But I made a video basically where he was on. Um, where he basically responded to Jay-Z. And he made a tweet or whatever. I mean, he made an Instagram post or whatever. And in that post, that was a vague post as well. And it's just like, come on now. Like, like while you saying all this, things, you not saying nothing. Like, he's not saying any words. So what is people supposed to do? And I made a video about that a couple months ago. You got your settlement, and now it's coming out that you signed an MDA deal? An MDA contract? You can't even talk? Come on, man. And, 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 and you know what? Even with the MDA contract, okay, you can't speak on the NFL, but you can speak on social injustice. You can speak on police brutality. There's a lot of things that's going on. And I also want to ask y'all one. I want to ask y'all this question too, because I've been asking a lot of people this question that I've been going back and forth with, and nobody seems to cannot answer this question. So let's see if somebody can answer this question, right? Why is it that a couple of weeks ago, right, what happened a couple of weeks ago, when the Nike deal, when the Nike came out with the Bessie Ross racist flag on their sneaker? Kaepernick was the first person in the whole wide world to come talking about that sneaker. The first person to talk about that sneaker. But when it comes to other things that have been going on since that sneaker and before that sneaker, and even up to this date, he doesn't speak on nothing when it comes to black social injustice or police is shooting people. Because there have been people still getting killed by police. These things are still happening. Why haven't he spoke on that? He don't have an NBA contract for that. He has an NBA contract for speaking on the NFL. So somebody answer that question. Why he's so quick to talk about some sneakers, but he not quick to talk about what's actually going on? He spoke about it before, but what is he talking about now? So answer me that question. I'm curious. And then one more thing, because I made a story about this. When he did speak on that Betsy Ross flag on the Nike, two days later, Nike made $3 billion off that. And they stock went up. But I digress. But I'm honestly saying, man, it, it looks it looks bad. I can't, you know what I mean? I can't I can't deny it. it's a bad look. I hope this man got a plan going on, but uh, it's just not a good look that all this stuff coming out. And whatever happened in the daytime, whatever happened in the dark, definitely gonna come in light. Like that's 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 a word, that's a common word that everybody uses in this in this facts. You understand? It's crazy too, but um it's your boy Frankie Hard Work. I'm curious to know how y'all feel about this, cause um, it's definitely my eye, it's definitely an eye opener. It's definitely an eye opener. But um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel in the comments, and I'll definitely be down there and talk to y'all in the comments. Y'all be good.